Kia ora guys, today we're going to look at body image. Um, this is a bit of a lead on from the old year 9 body image video. Um, so you can refer back to that one before watching this if you'd like. I'm um, just going to talk about body image, um, some of the negative implications of um, having a negative body image and um, effects on hauora. So just a quick five, you have got a worksheet that associates with this. So just a quick five on that is um, number one, what is one thing you like about yourself and your body? Number two, what is one thing you would want to change? Number three, what are some celebrities that speak out about body image? Number four, what is a sign that someone has a negative body image? And number five, true or false, only women worry about what they look like. Um, so with uh, having negative body image comes negative feelings. So some negative feelings that um, are associated towards this are things like not liking your body or facial features. Um, not liking the overall way they look, not liking skin or complexion, um, feeling too fat, feeling too skinny, not liking the colour of the skin, um, other things like not having, not feeling muscular, not having um, uh, correct or good body proportions that they feel are correct. Uh, yeah, and negative reactions. So these are things that people could do if they think negatively about their body. Um, number one could be avoiding eating or restricting your eating, um, working out excessively to the point of maybe becoming obsessed, uh, work, avoiding social out, outings in public places, uh, projecting negative negativity towards others, like being jealous of others' looks because they're feeling bad about your own looks, um, judging people based on the way they look. So instead of um, your first interactions and um, the ways that you perceive other people being based on their um, like their kindness or their personality, it's based on how they look because that's what you are um, used to feeling about. Um, get plastic surgery, obviously that's a bit of a more extreme um, and probably later on other than a past um, high school. Uh, wearing body altering clothes, so whether that's tummy sucking in pants or um, yeah, anything like that. Wearing a lot of makeup is obviously not always negative. There is a lot out there about um, makeup as artistry and stuff, but wearing a lot of makeup to maybe cover up poor skin or um, skin colour or complexion could be a negative um, reaction. Um, using a lot of fake tan or um, abusing things like uh, tanning salons where you're exposed to all the UV rays. Um, filters on photos, so going mental with your Beautify filter on um, Instagram or any um, of your social media outlets and not wanting to put into the effort, so not thinking that you're worth putting in the effort to try and um, look the way you want to um, look. Alright, so this is just a little clip that Alan is talking about body image and beauty. Um, you can watch this in your own time or you can get the link for the video so you can watch this in your own time. Basically, you just want to talk about after this, have a little discussion in your groups around how how, how holder, sorry, can be affected by negative self-image. So, for example, your tahatinana could be affected by, for example, you cutting out um, eating or you're excessively exercising um, avoiding certain foods. To how wider it could be your loss of um, of identity, feeling like you are no longer um, happy with yourself and what you, you look like, that's your loss of identity. Um, to how heningaro means your mental and emotional um, well-being, so you could be um, emotionally not stable or comfortable with yourself, um, having negative thoughts towards yourself. Uh, Taha whānau, um, that could be something like you're avoiding um, public places, avoiding social gatherings because you don't want to see other people the way that you are, as you are. Okay, what does it feel like to have these thoughts? Again, this is another video here, um, so get the link for the slideshow and go through and watch this video. Um, and just have a discussion again in your small groups about what it feels like to have these thoughts of what um, you may have had thoughts like this in the past and that's great. I think you'd find most people have some sort of negative thoughts around their um, appearance at some stage in their life. So just have a discussion around what it feels like to um, have negative um, body image and poor body image. 
Uh, next point there is boys and body image. So obviously it's not only girls who um, suffer poor body image. Uh, so what are the main differences between worries for boys and girls and what are the main things that boys want? So typically boys in the media are perceived or, or, and displayed as being muscular, um, wanting to have uh, facial hair, be manly, uh, which means strong and things like that. So what are some of the worries that teenage and adolescent boys have is that, that everyone um, progresses or Get, uh, reaches puberty at a different point and can grow obviously different rates and different sizes depending on also how physically active you are. Um, so have a on your sheet I think that says um, what are boys more likely to do if they have body image worries whereas girls um, are more likely to talk, boys are less likely to talk and more internalize their issues. Um, so complete now a compare and contrast hot map on male and female body image and used to construct a paragraph outlining the similarities and differences between the two. There's another link there for you as well. Okay, media influences. So what role does the media play in how we feel about our bodies? Um, so I've found a few um, key advertisements, advertisements down the bottom there. Um, what are some key advertisements that portray how we should look? I want you to try and find an example of an advert that uses body image to send a message. Um, so, for example, this one down the bottom, are you beach body ready? Um, everybody is beach body ready. You don't need to have a certain size body to be able to stand on a beach. So um, that's one example there of um, people trying to portray a message that you need to be a certain size. Um, same with a skinny water. So you should be strutting your skinny by having the skinny water. And this um, Calvin Klein one here is trying to show you um, all of the multitude of muscles he's got going on there. Um, and saying that that's how people should be if they want to wear or um, use Calvin Klein underwear. So try and find one advert and discuss with your buddy about how, how that sends that message. Alright, on the worksheet, this is the final task. On your worksheet, I want you to create a 10-step plan for developing and maintaining a healthy body image. So think about everything that people could do, whether it's together and peers um, in small groups, with your parents, with, with teachers, anything like that, about a plan to develop and maintain your healthy body image. Okay, you can include anything from having posters around your room, having motivational quotes, anything like that. Alright. Thank you. Thank you for listening and um, yeah, hope you enjoyed.